Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to explore one of the biggest rhino sanctuaries in East Africa. Any guesses? Stay tuned to find out. So after three hours of driving, we finally came to Alpajeta Conservancy. If you have never heard of Alpajeta, let me tell you. Alpajeta is the largest black rhino sanctuary in East Africa and home to the last two northern whites in the world. They are the pioneers when it comes to conservation and the work they do to protect wildlife is super impressive. But the most successful story here is the rhinos. In early 90s, Alpajeta started with just four black rhinos and right now they have around 165 critically endangered black rhinos and around 52 southern whites and two northern whites. All these rhinos are monitored 24-7 by an armed rhino protection squad supported by a wider team of rangers and a canine dogs unit. So what are we waiting for? Let's explore Alpajeta Conservancy. So we finally checked into Sweetwater Serena Camp. This place is within Alpacheta Conservancy, so you can do game brewing all day long. And also, this is gonna be our home for the next four days. Let me show you our tent. So guys, we are already off to our first activity of the day. We are going to see Baraka. If you don't know who is Baraka, he is a blind black rhino who lives here at Alpajeta. And he's currently the ambassador for his kind and people can come and visit him and learn more about his species. So let's go and see Baraka. Welcome to Opejata Conservancy. My name is Gideon. So this park is uh, 90,000 acres, 360 kilometers square. And we have the wild animals, we have the beef cows, and we also grow wheat on this same land. Uh, we also have uh, the information center behind me here. It's a house with uh, different types of skulls and bones from different wild animals. We just picked from the bush for people to see around, especially students and everyone who is interested about the bones. We also have a lot of information on the wall pertaining the wild animals and the conservation here. Right behind me is Baraka. He's the first born black rhino here at Alpacheta Conservancy. He's blind. He lost one eye because of a fight with another rhino and the other eye because of cataract infection. So right now he's living in this closed enclosure 
they are not letting him go to the wild because he is blind and he can't survive by himself. He is having a very nice peaceful life here in this closed enclosure and in few minutes we are going to feed him his favorite snacks so come along. All rhinos at Alpejeta are precious, but the most precious are the 34-year-old Najin and her daughter Fatu. They are the last two remaining northern whites in the world. Northern whites are a subspecies of white rhinos that once thrived in African savannas before poaching wiped them out. So today, we get the chance to go and see Najin and her daughter Fatu. So come along. So this is our guide Jeremy. He'll be showing us and guiding us how to go and see the Northern Whites. So you're not allowed to go all alone to this uh, closed enclosure. You have to go with a guide. And today, Jeremy will be guiding us. Hi. Uh, my name is Jeremy, and Jeremy is one of the caregiver of the two Northern Whites. That is Nanjin and Fatu. Nanjin is 34 and Fatu is 23. Northern White, they are from northern part of Africa, a place like Sudan, Congo, Chad, Zaire, and the west side of Uganda. And those countries have a lot of civil war for people fighting to one another. They kill all their rhinos, and the remaining rhinos is the one which was moved many years ago to far east country. So guys, right now, uh, that's Najin right behind me and far away you can see Fatu and the other southern white female. It's a beautiful experience, I mean it's a um, once in a lifetime experience to come here and uh, see these northern whites. Nanjin, I can talk to her, they were like, like where I was, uh, I was scratching her, uh, going closer to her, and she's not minding me. So I love her. It's something very unique, uh, I think. I haven't seen uh, rhinos up close like this uh, you know, ever and to, to witness the last uh, two northern white rhinos uh, in the planet, uh, it's something, something very precious. So guys, we finished all our activities today and it was super amazing to meet Baraka, Najin and Fatu, the northern white rhinos. And Baraka is obviously a black rhino, but you know, like, it's a, it's a nice memory, I would say, you know, so today there's so much of memories and meeting them was on my bucket list from the day I moved to Kenya and 
I'm so happy that I get to you know uh, fulfill it today. So uh, now we came back to Serena camp and uh, we're going to have some coffee and rest a bit and then get ready for dinner. So guys, we came back to the tent after finishing our dinner. It's the end of our first day, so we're gonna call it a day. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good morning guys, it's our second day here at Alpajeta in Serena camp. I mean, guys just look at this view. The morning vibes here are super incredible. You can hear all the sounds of nature and it's just so peaceful. I mean, I just realized, you know, like how important it is to come and spend at least two days in the nature because it really calms you down. If you have a very stressful job or a very stressful, you know, um, life, holidays like this are really important. And it's just so beautiful. You can hear all the sounds of nature. And right now I'm waiting for the sunrise. So it's just beautiful. Hi guys, good morning. So uh, we are all packed, ready for the game drive. Uh, so we'll be having breakfast uh, and then heading out to the game drive. When it comes to spotting the Big Five, Alpajeta Conservancy is one of the best places to visit. Because when I compare all the other national parks I covered in Kenya, 
this national park is more scenic and it's more exclusive. And as a videographer, I find this conservancy very stress-free and I can actually enjoy when I find it sighting while I'm doing the videography. So yeah, I think definitely this is one of the best places to visit if you are visiting Kenya. And along with other national parks, make sure you visit Al Pajita as well. So guys, if you are wondering how to do a game drive here at Al Pajita Conservancy, there are several ways you can do it. You can do self-driving here, just like us. If you have a four-wheel drive, you can simply find accommodation inside Al Pajita and then do your game drives by yourself. But if you're not really familiar with the Alpajita Conservancy, how to find sightings and all that, you can simply get a guide from the hotel. Or else, simply you can send an email to Alpajita Escapes and tell them to arrange the game drives and accommodation for you. It's that simple. So um, if you don't know how to contact Alpajita Conservancy, I'll put their email address as well in my YouTube description. So it's easy for you. We just finished our uh, game drive and we are starving right now. <laughs> so, and you know, we would love to have something cold. We, we are heading back. Drink. Uh, we need a proper drink. So, we'll be heading to Sweetwater Camp uh, to have our lunch. So guys, instead of going for a game drive, we thought to take a break today. Self-driving can be really tiring sometimes because we'll be doing all the driving all around the conservancy. So, uh, because Imaj did a lot of driving yesterday, I thought to give him a break today. It's my evening, so I'm gonna rest. Yeah. So we are all prepared to start our night game drive here at Al Pesheta. Night game drives can be super unpredictable because you never know what you will find. And this is our first time trying a night game drive here in Kenya and we are super excited. So wish us luck. Hi guys, we came back to the lodge after finishing our night game drive. It was an amazing experience. We saw all kind of uh, antelopes, lions, leopards, lion cubs, 
and especially the striped hyenas so um, it really gives you that wonderful experience to see how all the wildlife behave at night so if you ever visit Alpajeta make sure you do a night game drive and get that experience so this is the end of our second day here at Alpajeta we'll see you tomorrow good night guys Good morning guys, it's our third day here at Alpajara and we are starting our morning with a nice game drive. Our first sighting of the day is a pride of lions. It was so beautiful to spot them with this golden light. I mean, if you ever find animals in a perfect setting, in this golden light, it could give you so much of photography and videography opportunities. So never miss it. We came to the uh, Rhino Cemetery here at Alpajeta after finishing off our morning game drive. It's a very sad place I would say because most of the animals here died because of poaching and some are actually the last of its kind. So um, it's a very sad place but I think it's important if you visit Alpajeta make sure you come here and read these tombstones because then you can really understand what happened and it also gives you a kind of an idea how far all budget has come from you know early 90s to right now and how much they have stopped poaching and how they have protected their rhinos. So we are back here at Serena camp uh, to have our lunch. Uh, it was a tiring day. We finished our morning game drive and after driving for hours in this heat, it's super exhausting. So uh, right now I'm enjoying a nice drink. So uh, we're going to relax a bit and then start our evening game drive. So uh, we are about to finish our day. Uh, it was it was a good day, full of game and uh, 
lot of driving, of course. Uh, and so we, we had some plans. We had some envision shots in the evening to be taken uh, with Mount Kenya on the backdrop, with uh, the sunset. So we, we managed to get them all done. So I think it was a very successful day. And we are wrapping things up. So let's call it a day. So guys, uh, it's our last day here at Serena Camp in Alpesheta Conservancy. It's a beautiful place. We actually don't want to leave, but it has come to an end uh, yes. of, of a three-day uh, safari and you know other experiences, uh, like amazing stuff, amazing uh, views, sightings. I think while you are doing all these safaris in national parks, you should visit a conservancy as well to make it much better. Yeah. And in fact, uh, Sweetwaters Serena Camp is uh, one of one of one of the best places one to you know spend your time, and then uh, you know quite close to the the entrances, quite close to the the key areas of the Alpajara Conservancy, uh, and amazing stuff, wonderful food. So yeah, and a beautiful place, and you have yeah. so much more game viewing here. Yeah. So uh, I really hope, guys, you enjoyed our video. So we'll come again with another travel tale. Thanks for watching.